Can you still get a hobby grade charger for under $40 that performs well? Today we're going to find out with the BT10 AC-DC charger. I'm going to go ahead and test this thing in detail. Stay tuned. I'm excited to show you guys my new charger. It's a UFA BT10 AC-DC charger. It's nice and small. It's portable. And unlike my other charger, it has a built-in power supply. So it's going to be great for when I travel. And it can also charge high voltage LiPo batteries. I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up and see what's included in the box. Thank you card. Owner's manual. This charger should be pretty straightforward as far as its use. And we'll check out the manual later. Here's the charger itself. Power cord. Adapters for many different kinds of plugs. There's XT60, Dean's, Traxxas, got some alligator clips, Tamiya, I think that's Futaba, and I'm not entirely sure, but lots of different adapters. And it comes with a bounce board for 2S through 6S. And then this may be, I'm not sure what this is for actually, it has a PC link, temperature sensor, and a USB connector. I'm not sure what that's for actually. At any rate, I'm gonna go ahead and hook this thing up and try it out. I found the charger really intuitive to use. I'm charging a small 800 milliamp hour lithium battery that's for my new RC boat. It's charging at 0.8 amps, again, because it's an 800 milliamp battery, and I'm charging at 1C up to the storage voltage. And uh, as you can see, on the top right, it has the current voltage in the battery, and then on the bottom right, it has the amps, milliamp hours put to the battery so far, and then the total time that it's been charging. I'm going to go ahead and charge a larger battery next, and we'll see how it works and then I'll try out the discharge function as well. I had been using this Tornigi charger, and I still will use it. It's a very good charger and has worked well for me. However, it does not have an internal power supply, and I have to use this big power supply from back in the 70s or 80s, and uh, certainly with traveling, it's a big inconvenience. So this new charger is great because it's so portable. Here's a snapshot of the charger, charging a 3S 5200 milliamp hour LiPo. I'm charging at 5.4 amps, and it's coming up from storage voltage, and as you can see, the capacity in the battery is, that's gone into the battery is climbing, and the fan was not running earlier at 0.8 amps, but at 5.4 amps, the charger produces a lot more heat. So the fan's running. The charger certainly does not feel hot. It appears the fan is, is doing a good job. Another nice thing about this charger is while it's charging, you can see how many volts each cell is at at the current time. So cell 1's at 4.031 volts, cell 2's at 4.045, and cell 3's at 4.050 volts. Excellent little charger. The amps have dropped from 8.3 to 8.0. Again, it's still way over the amps that I normally charge at. And the charger is cool to touch. So the fans are doing a good job keeping this charger cool. No issues there. So. All right, now that the battery's up to 12.6 volts, which is its full charge, the amps are starting to drop down from 8 amps and they'll continue to drop as the charger slowly spoon feeding in and topping off each cell, getting the maximum capacity in each cell as possible. So you can see cell number one is a little low, so it's trying to catch up to cells two and three, which are already at 4.2 volts, which is a full charge. So this will take some time. The last uh, 200 or 250 milliamp hours or so can take, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes to 
get it to the battery. Although, that's on my other charger. This one may be quicker. I think it made a liar out of me. It says they're all at 4.2 volts. Alright, well I guess that's it. It made a liar out of me. I was a little skeptical because that went so quickly, but it's just quicker than my other charger. Uh, all three cells are right around 4.2 volts. It's normal to have a hundredth or two difference between the cells after they're charged. But yeah, it brought them up to their appropriate charge. And this battery pack's ready to go. Now while this charger is very good, you gotta keep in mind it is indeed a budget charger. And every budget charger I'm familiar with can't discharge batteries very quickly. So it's certainly not a big negative for this one. It's just the way it is. It's a lot easier to put current into a battery than to dissipate the heat that's created by discharging it. Now this and my Ternigi both say they can discharge at two amps. And maybe that's right for um, 1S batteries. For a 2S battery, you're only gonna get about 1.2 amps or so, maybe 1.3 amps. And for 3S, as I'll demonstrate right now, we're only gonna get about 0.8 amp discharge rate. So on a 5200 milliamp hour battery, it's gonna take you a really long time to, to discharge it. It would take you over an hour to do a thousand milliamp hours. So to completely discharge this battery, you know, it's going to take say six hours, give or take. So it's useful uh, in certain situations, but if you need to discharge the battery, you're better off doing it using one of your RC vehicles and then using the charger to take the last little bit of charge out of the battery. Also a limitation of this charger is it supplies a maximum of a hundred watts. So at 3S, say you're around 12 volts and it's charging at eight amps, that total um, take volts times amps and you get watts. So eight times 12 is about a hundred. Um, and that's the maximum rate it's going to be able to charge at 3S. So when I was charging at 3S, it was around 8.3 amps at first, and 8.2, 8.1, 8.0, and it's going to slowly fall as the voltage of the battery raises. Because again, it's just a simple multiplication that's going to determine the maximum amount of amps this charger can put into a battery at the given voltage. Now, if you have a 6S battery, this charger may be deficient for your needs. If you have a 6S charger, I'm sorry, 6S battery, and you're charging at four amps, that's gonna be about your maximum, because four times 24, 24 volts for a, a 6S battery is about 100. Um, if you have a smaller 6S battery, you know, one, two or 3,000 milliamp hours, this charger could work fine. Now, if you had an 8,000 milliamp hour 6s battery it would take you over two hours to charge it at four amps so that's just something to keep in mind um, but again if you're charging two and three s batteries this charger has all the power you would ever need and for the price point i mean you can't complain you can't go wrong with this thing i've, I've been very satisfied so can you get a quality hobby grade charger for under 40 dollars today i would say yes this uh BT-10 AC-DC charger really exceeded my expectations. For my needs, charging at 2S and 3S provides more than enough power. If I was charging at 4S or above, it might not. For example, at 6S, it would only be able to charge at about four amps. You know, if you had an 8,000 milliamp hour battery at 6S, that could take well over two hours to charge. So, depends on your needs, but for me, this is great, it's portable, it has a quality feel to it. I found it very intuitive to use. Um, it stayed cool while I was using it. It came with a wide assortment of different plugs. And the only thing that I not really like about this charger 
with the default beep noise it makes is, is really annoying. I know that's minor, but I was able to turn it off and it was, wasn't an issue after that. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this charger if you're in a market for a budget friendly charger. This thing is the real deal and exceeded my expectations. Thank you.